December 13, 2006 Jesus how blessed I am that you take a moment to read these words. I am God. I am complete, and yet your simple act of reading my words gives me glory. You are important to me and you are important to my family, which includes all men of goodwill. Because I love you and because I need your help, I wish to give you the opportunity to find greater peace in your heart. It is clear to me that many suffered from hidden wounds. The only way for these wounds to heal is for the carrier of the wound to forgive the one who inflicted the injury. My dear child, this can be difficult. When a wound finds a home in the heart, it becomes comfortable there. It must be loosened and shifted. Both a willingness to forgive and a spirit of forgiveness are necessary because it is these things that make the wound uncomfortable. The wound then begins to dislodge. This reawakens the pain, but only temporarily until the wound is removed altogether. I want to begin this process in you. If you proceed in the process of forgiveness with me, you will find that forgiveness floods your heart. Your wounds will be gone. I have the power to heal every one of your wounds. When you try to do this alone, you do not experience success and you find that bitterness persists. Bitterness characterizes my enemy. Forgiveness characterizes me. You, a beloved little child of God, seek to find peace in your heart. You will only find peace if you step into the stream of goodness. The stream is like a river of grace with which I desire to bathe you, removing all pain and injury. What will remain in your soul is joy. This joy, this heavenly peace, will be obtained by accepting your flaws and accepting the flaws of others. You see, my friend, if you accept the flaws and sins of others, you will soften in attitude toward yourself. I love you. I accept you. I need you to accept yourself so that you will be at peace in my kingdom and it is through forgiving others that you will find acceptance of your own humanity. End of message.